I am Adil Kumar. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching my videos, posting excellent remarks and sharing some good questions. Here are three questions from one of our subscriber, Mr. Siddiqui. Mr. Siddiqui, thanks a lot for sharing these questions and I hope their solution will help many others. So I'm going to solve these questions one by one, then we'll compile them into one video and post. I also understand that you now will be having your final exams, so solutions for these videos will definitely help you. So let's begin with the solution of the very first question where we are going to solve a simultaneous equation, simultaneous trigonometric equation. The question here is, solve the system of equations in the domain minus 2 pi to 2 pi, where y equals to cos square x and y equals to sine square x plus half. We'll do it algebraically. You can actually sketch the graph and also find the solution, right? So, so we are given two equations. One is y equals to cos square x. The other one is y equals to sine square x plus half. Now what we can do here is we can subtract one from the other. So let's say this is equation number one and that is our equation number two. So if I do equation 1 minus equation 2. In that case, I get 0 equals to cos square x minus sine square x and that also becomes minus half. Correct. So that's what we get. Now, uh, we know an identity which relates cos square x and sine square x. So I'm going to take minus half to the left side so I'll write this as half equals to cos square x minus sine square x. So I hope you remember the identity of cos 2x. Cos 2x is basically cos square x minus sine square x. Correct? So we are going to use this identity here. So we get half is equal to cos 2x. So now it is a simpler solution. You can always pause the video, solve it further, find the answer and then check with my solution. Uh, but there is a trick to this. Still, some of you can get it wrong. See, now we'll work on the domain itself. As far as the domain is concerned, we are saying that x is between minus 2 pi and plus 2 pi. But in the equation, we have 2x. So we need to multiply this by 2. All the three terms, we get minus 4 pi to plus 4 pi. So that becomes now the domain for 2x, right? Now cos 2x is equal to half. So what is the value of 2x? Well, let's use our special triangle. So we have to work in radians in this case, right? So if this angle is pi by 3, we know these sides are 1, 2, and square root 3. So that means we have the solution of uh, cos 2x being positive half in two quadrants. One of the quadrant will be quadrant 1. The other one has to be quadrant 4, right? So these are the two quadrants. And the value for 2x is going to be either pi by 3 or minus pi by 3. Is that clear to you, right? So plus and minus pi by 3, correct? So what we get from here is that 2x should be equal to plus minus pi by 3, right? Now this value of plus minus pi by 3 is... When you're looking into the domain which is between plus and minus pi, right? But the domain here is minus 4 pi to 4 pi. Correct? So what should we do? Well, we need to add 2 pi to each term, right? Okay. Also look at it in this fashion. If I add... 2 pi to this, this is plus and minus. 
So in that case, uh, okay, uh, let me rewrite this. Let me write 2x as equal, we'll do plus minus later, right? So if I go in this clock counterclockwise, we get pi by 3 and 5 pi by 3. So let me rewrite. So we'll do pi by 3 and 5 pi by 3. Now this solution is when we are going in this direction and so it becomes from 0 to 2 pi. Now if I have to go to 4 pi, I have to add 2 pi. You understand, right? So adding 2 pi means here if I add 2 pi, that means 6 pi by 3, right? So we get 7 pi by 3. And 6 plus 5 gives you 11 pi by 3. Is that clear? So we get these two also. And that is when we are going in this direction from 0 to 2 pi. Now when we cover in that direction also, then we get minus of these. So, so I will write like this. So that is better to understand. Is it clear to you, right? So instead of working like that, we'll work like this. So I hope it is understood. So within this domain, the value of 2x should be plus minus pi by 3, plus minus 5 pi by 3, plus minus 7 pi by 3, and plus minus 11 pi by 3. How about the value of x? So x will be half of these, right? So we'll plus minus pi by 6 plus minus 5 pi by 6 plus minus 7 pi by 6 and plus minus 11 pi by 6. So we have 8 solutions. Do you see that part? So these are the 8 solutions for our question number 1. So I hope that is absolutely clear. So uh, feel free to write your comment, share your views, share my videos with your friends. So let's, that's for now. We'll take up the other questions later. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.